Ah, it is dawn, and time to do the morning chores. And that means to clear the way, find lavender, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And here's a patch of brush that needs clearing. I can see what it means. It's in the road. So let's clear the roads out so that travelers will be able to safely get through. Not that the Bjornings really love having all that many travelers going around based on it, but I suppose they need it for their own purposes, for the road to be open. Hopefully I can find some more brush and some lavender around here. Ooh, and firewood. We can't forget the firewood. There you go. Oops. What else let's do with patches of soil? I suppose I'll find that out in a moment. Oh, collected useful pieces of flint. <laughs> and right next to the lavender. Good. Now I'll see if I can find any more of it. Hmm. Some gnats are interrupting my morning stroll. We have to deal with them. Biting veil gnat swarms. Whee! Well, we can deal with that. I hope. Pesky bugs. Ah, finally some seeds for the honey cakes. There we go. That's one seed. Hopefully there'll be a few more around here. <sighs> Too bad there are also some more flies around here. <sighs> bugs. Big bugs. Swarms of little bugs. Lots of bugs. We we'll have to deal with that. Preferably quickly, if you ask me. Hold on. A warg. Well, we can't have wargs prowling around this place, could we? Not at all. Down with the wargs. Anyway. Then again, I'll say something about killing six wargs. Okay. Grimbjorn said something about three. Gandalf said something about doubling it. Because Gandalf just likes to make more work for me. And apparently I need to kill a lot of these things. We. This work high will do well as a trophy for Grimbjorn. Oh, I'm glad of it. Glad that I can make a suitable trophy from it. Ouch, 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 ouch. I think I need a snack after all that. Whee! Now, any more wargs around? Hold on. Is that an orc that I see up ahead? Gundabad Century. Yeah, that looks like an orc. Looks like two orcs. Looks like a speared orc. Well then, we'll take care of that. Now, who would chuck a spear into an orc? I wonder. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that spear has my name on it. Oh, well. Veil Orc Slayer. Yeah? 
Defeat orcs in Bjorning lands. Defeat orcs in Bjorning lands. And defeat many orcs, one of 80. Oh, fun. What is this place here? You have found a glen in the hills that is feared by Bjornings as a place where trees move without wind and bees sting without warning. They call it Galchrist and whisper and whisper of Clutrud, a vile and corrupt Hjorn that stalks there. The folk of the Bjorning lands will welcome the feet of the horns and hornets of Galchrist. All right. Sounds like a fun place. Oh, those are the hornets, I guess. Ah -ha. Uh, I, I see what you mean about the hornets. Wow. These are nasty things. <laughs> Real nasty things. Now I know why he sent me after the honey. <laughs> Good grief. Whee! Vicious hornets. Wonderful. Just what I always wanted to do was fight hornets. Alright. <sighs> now. Beehive. I. Oh, for a moment there I thought that was a huge spider, but no, that's just a horn. But I suppose I gotta find some of those too. Hmm. Hey, that's a big tree. But it's not doing what trees are supposed to be doing. And that is staying still and keeping their roots in the soil. So I suppose Tree Beard would want to appreciate me just going on and attacking trees. Oh well. I think we're not in Fangorn then. Not that I didn't kill my share of trees in Fangorn. Ah. But more hornets. It looks like the hornets are attacking the beehives. Well, we gotta do something about that. And that's probably killing hornets and collecting honey. I hope this honey's wild enough for the taste of that Bjorning. That's all I gotta say about that. Y you done yet? Ouch. That stings. <sighs> More honey. Ah! I found clutch root. Well. Make sure none of his tree cronies help him as they do it. Maybe the trees will be quiet if I take care of clutch root. Maybe this area will become quiet if I take care of clutch root. The hornets can go down to normal size. Not that hobbits enjoy normal sized hornets either. But that's another matter. Are you here? Ouch. Whee. What is the tree equivalent of the word bleed, I wonder? Uh, would you use the word bleed? because it's the closest equivalent, or would you say leak? Drip? Tap? Yeah. I can't think of the best word for that. Oh, it counted as a horn also. Okay, uh, that's good. Oh, I found seeds. I found honey. But now I finally found the wheat I need for the cakes. Apparently I also found more bugs. Will there be enough of them? I hope so. They're getting pesky.
pesky, pesky, pesky. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. I finally found some wheat. I, I think I'll need a little bit more than that. And hopefully, that'll get us all that we need and we'll make some nice honey cakes. And I hope they're worth all this trouble. That's what I gotta say about that. <sighs> Original recipe. <sighs> Hmm, this looks like a nasty place. Works all over the place. And carcasses. I hope Honey Bell isn't here. Well, let's take care of some of these wargs and find out. It looks like we're going to have to take out more than six wargs. I hope that Gandalf doesn't mind if I take out a couple of more. I'm sure they won't. But I hope I don't have to kill every warg in this area to find out what those bodies are. It looks like a deer carcass by the looks of it. Hopefully it's not a cow, especially one belonging to the Bjornings. But we're going to have to find that out after a great deal of search. And hopefully that's not going to take us too long. Probably will take us all night. Yeah. I hope I don't miss lunch as a result of this. All right. Are you finished? Hopefully you are. Thank you. Now, let's check this thing here. Mm, well, definitely not a cow. Hold up here, what's this? A cowbell. Uh-oh. That's not good. Not good at all. I better bring this back to Stericist. Stericist, is this Honey Bell's bell? Where did you find that? In a warg den? Tragedy indeed, Pineleaf. She was such a good girl, faithful bone-buying companion, supplier of milk and cheese. We will mourn, not just for the products which she supplied us, but also for her dear, loving, and sweet demeanor. Oh, poor Honey Bell, to perish in this way. One moment. Is that how this I see? And who's that with her? Well, what? Uh, I'm hoping it's Honey Bell without a bell. Hmm. Well, then, let's go and find how this and find out. Up this way. Oh, look at this. Looks like Honey Bell is a smart little cow. Uh, hello there. Uh, I have her bell. <laughs> You're a friend of Sturkist? I see that you found Honey Bell's bell. I took her out for a walk in the sunshine earlier today, for she seemed quite agitated about something, and I thought a walk might do her some good. Her bell must have fallen off sometimes while we were away, and I did not notice it was missing until we returned. You found the bell in a warg den? I must say, I'm grateful you found the bell only, with no cow attached, and that Honey Bell was safe with me, and I with her. I'm surprised Starkist did not see us. We must have missed one another. All right, well, at least that's good news. Ah, oh, yes. There you go. What a friendly cow. Well, Starkist should be happy about this. It appears Haldis took the cow for a walk and they lost her bell at some point. I heard you come bearing bad news. Well, actually, I think it's pretty good news in this case. Haldis took Honey Bell for a walk? It seems I sent you chasing for wild goose and worried myself for nothing. I'm sorry, but the darkness has settled upon the veils, has me on edge. 
I shall focus on my next task, which must surely cause me no alarm. How worrisome would mushrooms how worrisome could mushrooms possibly be? Girta has tasked me with collecting wild mushrooms from the Bjorning lands. They grow in small groves throughout the vale, but none that I give it little more thought. I realize that these mushrooms can be found quite far from the Bjorningkus. I would not want to encounter a wark, or worse, uh, perhaps you could collect some of the mushrooms that are further afield? All right, fine. You collect the ones that are nearby. I collect the ones that are far afield. And that's just a trifle for truffles. Now let's see about grinding the wheat and the seeds. Good. And let's take care of that. Add the honey. Yeah, that looks like the right consistency. Now, where can I find an oven around here? Ah, here's an oven right here. Yeah. They seem to have already have a bit of oven here. Hmm, all that's left to do is to wait and watch it bake. Tick, 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 ding! All right, let's... Take out the cake. And let's see about that. All right. Well, let's see what they think about my honey cake. Ah, here's one of the bees. That's, that's a pretty big bee. Yikes. I hope it's friendly. There you go. That's a one. All right. Note to self. Don't fight the bees. Here's the honey cake I made. Right here. Uh, let's have a look at your honey cake. It does look quite good. Hmm. <laughs> Looks big. Now that honey cake looks simply perfect, and it smells even better. Well done, my friend. This is your very first honey cake? I would almost not believe it. You will find this honey cake recipe bakes differently for everyone who tries to make one. Truly a signature of the baker, if you will. Uh, did you find the process as restful and as relaxing as I did? I hope so. You mean the fact that I ran to wargs and buzzing insects and all that stuff while looking on to do it. And you get a Bjorning honey cake, three Bjorning honey cakes that are... Well, I have to compare to see what it is, but they're five minute duration, 30 minute cooldown compared to my 1162. Eh, eh. Yeah, wonderful! <sighs> a good bake, and the bottom is not soggy at all. Yeah, and unfortunately, I already make better food. <sighs> all right, I've finished feeding the bees. Life is sweet, like honey. Grimbjorn's bees are quite friendly, as you have learned. I believe they have made a new friend today, and I trust that you have learned to respect the bees as well. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> today is a good day in the wilds. We'll worry about that later. Right now, let us return to Grimbjorn. All right, I brought you some trophies and for you. All right. These trophies are certainly respectable, though they were not life. <laughs> These trophies show that I expected them to show, that although the war may be done, its soldiers remain a threat to the Vales of Anduin. The trade route must remain closed for the safety of my people. All right. I know that Tranwil wishes me to reopen the trade route into Mirkwood. 
I have heard of the hardships faced by the dwarves of the Lonely Mountain and the refugees from the east, but my own family must come first. Go to the forest gate and tell the elves there what I have decided. Well, I'll have to eventually do that, I guess. And now, about the same for Mithrandir, all those things you need to do, I killed those wargs and all for you. you have done more than I asked. Yeah. Hmm, why did you do more? Is this the wizard's doing by any chance? Why would you do more than I asked? What are you trying to prove, Warden? <laughs> he's just all nice and happy about his decision, and now he's all suspicious. Ah, yeah, uh, I heard he could be a little bit... Hmm, that's a pretty good earring there. Hmm. Orcs, goblins, and trolls have long harried the people of the Vales. The days have been dark along the Undoing these past few months, and not just for my people. Orcs, goblins, and trolls have long harried the people of the Vales, but their attacks became more frequent of late. We turned them away, my kin and the woodsmen both. And so, by doing, we each became more friendly to the other. Good fences make for good neighbors, my sire used to say. But to that I now add, and so does shared hardship. You stay with the Beorning Hoos because I allow it, Pineleaf. And that means you should do as I say, when I say it. And now I wish for you to go to Hultvis, the village of the woodmen to the eastern side of the wood's edge, and lend them whatever assistance you're able. They face danger in the vales of Anduin, but they are not as hardy as my people, and will need your aid. Hmm. On your way to the Hutvis, stop by the fort of Zegbar, and obtain the collected tolls of the Guthig there. Return it to me when you have finished with your folk of the Hultvis, and I will count your obligation met. Very well, I shall head on that way. Yes, that's a matter for the next episode of Pineleaf in the North Kingdoms.